Hello friends and welcome back. Today we're going to be splitting some firewood and uh, in case you're new here I'm just going to show you my setup here and how we do things. We'll get to splitting. So I got a ton of big hickory rounds. They're all oh probably 24 to 30 inches around. I'm going to be using the Easton made 1222 the box wedge. This will probably be the last time I use the box wedge for a minute because the rest of the stuff I've got is all four-way and six-way stuff so it'll probably be coming off. Then we go to the conveyor, got this old farm conveyor. Works okay, not the best. From there, it gets loaded into the load trail, seven by 14 dump trailer. It's just got two foot sides and then a two by 12 on the top. I've got the Coyote tractor. It's how I move my trailer around most of the time. And I've got the big firewood bucket, the Express Steel 72 inch on the front of it. What I do is I've got logs over here and over here and i usually cut them up over there throw them in my bucket and then bring them to my splitter you might ask why don't you just bring your splitter to your logs well i like to keep my splitter in my lean to keep it dry um, this is a big splitter if you've never seen one before they're they're big they're not the most fun to move around you can move it around i just like to leave it in here it's always uh undercover and whatnot so that is how i do things and i'm going to be splitting some wood today so before we start, uh, safety is important, and I got these Pro Here headphones. Now I've been using the 3M work tunes for a long time, I've been probably like three years, and the foam padding around the ears were just worn out, and one of the, the pieces were broken. So I figured I'd try these. They were a little bit cheaper than the 3Ms, and honestly, I really like them a lot more. They really um, cancel out noise better. The noise reduction is 25 decibels on these. And it says also 31, so not really sure what that means. But they have Bluetooth, they pair good, they sound pretty good. So just search Pro Here headphones on Amazon and you'll probably be able to find them. We're gonna fire this thing up. I've already got it warm. Old my conveyor, grease the beam on this splitter. She's full of gas, so I'm gonna try and knock out this. I got a little bit more over there to do, but it is beautiful Saturday here in Indiana. And as you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt. So t-shirt in December, Saturday, sun, no rain, no snow pretty good day not a good day to sell firewood though firewood has not really been selling the best yet just because it's uh not really cold i need a good freeze get everybody cold and make them panic get some firewood going enough yapping let's let's get
All right, so I'm back and uh, had some issues with the conveyor. Who's surprised? I'm not. But I finally uh, addressed some things and I think it's gonna work better now, but we'll see. So the belts that were on here, they were probably older than me and they were real smooth, they were loose and they just slipped too easy. This thing would get jammed super easy. So what I did is I went and got new belts from my local CarQuest, put them on, tensioned up everything. So I think it's gonna be a lot better. We'll see. But I gotta, gotta make this thing work because I can't live without it, but real conveyors are really expensive. So do what we can. We're gonna keep splitting here and uh, see how it goes. so i think that the belts helped it there's definitely a lot of stuff that i sent up that normally would get plugged and it didn't get plugged so i i think it helped it but it's still this thing still it still sucks it just sucks i mean i've spent so much time clearing the conveyor out putting the pieces in one by one where i mean i've been working on this for a minute here and i still have quite a few rounds um so Again, I've said it before, you really can't fully utilize the capabilities of one of these commercial splitters unless you can get the wood away from you. So while we're talking about it, I'd like to get some other opinions. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think. So I got this conveyor and I tightened up the belt. I made the belt, I tightened up the chain. I made the chain really tight. That way in theory, things couldn't get caught in between the chain and the sprockets because that's where it was getting plugged. Do you think I'd be better off loosening the chain that way if stuff does get caught in the sprockets it rolls through rather than it getting pinched and being too tight it's kind of a, a double-edged sword you know what i mean but let me know what you think i've got the belts really tight the chain is really tight um the problem is things just get caught in that sprocket and it stops everything up so that will do it for today let me know what you think if you have any suggestions if your suggestion is buy a real firewood conveyor that is a very good idea so Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.